in this video, I'll discuss all the updates regarding King's Landing and the Dragon Pit and what will happen in Season 8. So stay tuned for that. Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Book Maniacs, your one stop for book and TV series reviews. I've already discussed the casting news and Winterfell updates in my previous videos and I'll post another video next Saturday at 7 p.m. IST or at 9.30 a.m. EST. So make sure to subscribe this channel and also click on the bell icon to get notifications from my channel. You can also help my channel grow by joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash ultimatebookmaniacs. And I want to thank you Alina and Aaron for being my first patrons. Before we get to Season 8 updates, let's take a quick look at what happened in King's Landing in Season 7. Cersei plans to take back all the Seven Kingdoms. Euron asks for Cersei's hand in marriage, but she refuses him. Euron leaves promising to bring her a gift. Then Euron attacks the Greyjoy fleet and captures Yara, Tyne and Ilaria Sand while Sion manages to escape. Cersei gives Tyne Sand a poison to kill her slowly and plans to keep Pelaria Sand alive to make her watch her daughter's death. The Lannisters destroy the Tyrells and Cersei meets with Tycho Nestoris promising to pay back the debts. After meeting with Jon and Danny at Dragon Pit, Cersei promises to help them in the war against the White Walkers while secretly she sends Euron to hire the Golden Company. Jaime gets mad at Cersei and leaves King's Landing. And winter has finally reached King's Landing. Now I'm going to discuss some season 8 updates which will obviously contain some spoilers. So if you don't want to see any spoilers, you should stop right here. As I've mentioned in my Winterfell updates video, we know there will be two major battle scenes in season 8. One in Winterfell and the other in King's Landing which was filmed mostly in Belfast Titanic Studio and in Dubrovnik. You can check out the King's Landing set photos from the links in the description below. In my Season 8 set photos videos, you can see that David and Dan and David Nutter were present at the set of King's Landing. We know only three directors are directing Season 8. David Nutter is directing Episodes 1, 2 and 4 and David and Dan are directing the last episode of the series, aka the 6th episode. We have heard rumors that the final battle will be filmed in King's Landing, which might just be a rumor, it's hard to tell if there is any truth to it or not. As I discussed in my Winterfell updates video, I think Winterfell will burn down in either episode 3 or episode 5. It would explain why the final battle will take place in King's Landing. The set at Titanic Studio is one of the biggest set ever built in Game of Thrones history and it took them more than half a year to finish it. This set now shows a gate and the multiple city streets of King's Landing, which means we will probably get to see some kind of fighting on the streets too. The fighting in the street means King's Landing will be attacked in Season 8, unless there are riots in the city, which I highly doubt will happen. They won't go to the trouble of building such a huge set only for riots. Another proof that King's Landing will be attacked and breached is that you can see from these pictures that the Game of Thrones crew had built a breach through the walls of King's Landing. Later, they covered it up with a red gate to film the events leading up to the breach. The breach might happen on the gates closest to the Red Keep, that is the Iron Gate or the Dragon Gate. There might be dragons involved in this attack too. As you can see, they are building up to the roof, including elaborate roof tilings, which means there will be aerial shots involved, which points toward dragons. Why else would they need such a detailed roof tiling? Also, there had been controlled fire tests conducted at Titanic Studio. It could have been for the Winterfell set only, or maybe there will be fire in King's Landing too. Hopefully, this fire will be Drogon attacking the city and not Viserion or the wildfire. I wonder if the fire will be green, red or blue. In the beginning of April, Watchers on the Wall also posted a video of a device being tested. It was a modified version of the scorpion Bronn had used in the spoils of war. He was able to hurt Drogon with it. 
I'm really sure that Cersei will have Kyburn make more scorpions to be ready for an attack from the dragons. At this point, I don't see how Jon or Danny could attack Cersei if they already have to face the threat of the White Walkers. In fact, it's the opposite of that. As I've mentioned in my Season 8 Q&A video, I think they might work together to fight the White Walkers. Maybe King's Landing's walls will be burned down by Viserion's flame and we might get to watch a Drogon vs Viserion fight. Maybe Danny and the Night King will fight in the air too. The other possibility is that Jon and Danny will defeat the Night King first and then will move on to attack King's Landing. What do you think? A dome was also spotted at this King's Landing set. It could be anything, but I have a feeling that we might get a look at the old dragon pit in Bran's visions before it was destroyed during the Dance of Dragons. Speaking of dragon pit, let's discuss the dragon pit updates now. In season 7, we got our first look at the dragon pit when Cersei held a meeting there with Jon and Danny. Watchers on the wall had posted in March that the dragon pit will return for season 8. Italica's amphitheater will be closed off for public during the filming. The filming will begin on April 23rd and will continue until May 19th. The site will remain closed till the 28th of May. That's almost a whole month's shooting. What will happen in Dragon Pit? You might say that there will be a battle or a wedding scene in the Dragon Pit, but according to Watchers on the Wall, there has been no call for extras at that place, and the filming here will take four times longer than it did last year. So there might be a long scene with mostly the main characters. In Season 7, we saw that a platform was built in the middle of Dragon Pit and was used for the parley. Now they are filming the same platform again in Italica. In my Season 8 set photos video, you can see that Jon, Danny, and Tyrion will go to King's Landing and Jon will be surrounded by Cersei's King's Guard. Maybe Cersei will capture Jon and will conduct another meeting with Danny to discuss the terms of her surrender. Or maybe Jon, Danny, and Tyrion will go to Cersei to ask for Cersei's help again. My Jolly Sailor Bold has asked, What do you think about the Dragon Pit Season 8 news? Can there be the ending scene? And what ending scene will be there? A Targaryen marriage or a funeral? That's a very good question. If Jon and Danny get married at Winterfell, I don't think there will be any wedding in the Dragon Pit. But if they didn't get married at Winterfell, and if somehow they were able to defeat the White Walkers and Cersei, we might get to see a Targaryen wedding there, but I don't think that will happen. I like Dragon Girl 15's idea more that Cersei and Euron will get married in the throne room and at the same time, Jon and Danny will get married in Winterfell. It will be a beautiful scene, but I think a funeral is a more likely thing to happen here than a wedding. Maybe the platform and everything will be destroyed during the battle at King's Landing and they will bury or burn one or both dragons at the dragon pit. It seems fitting since five dragons had died during the Dance of Dragons. And as Danny had said in season 7, this place was the beginning of the end for my family. If the Targaryens hadn't locked away their dragons, they wouldn't have grown smaller and died away and House Targaryen would have remained a formidable house. This place led to the fall of the dragons, and I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to put the bodies of the dragons there too. Besides, it will be large enough to house two dragon bodies in there. So, that's all for the King's Landing and Dragon Pit updates. What do you think will happen in Season 8? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, it's time for the comment shout out now. Today's comment shout out goes to Madam Pluto, who said, My prediction? Everybody dies and the Night King takes over. The end. I like this theory too. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Have you heard about the Mistborn series? Its cover said, What if the Dark Lord won? And the second I saw it, the image of the Night King winning popped into my head. If the Night King won, the world will become a cold, dark place, kind of like the world in the Mistborn series with ash falling from the skies and the red sun, etc. If you haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. So, 
What do you think of these theories? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. If you like this video, please click on the like button below, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.